I will demonstrate how to operate the As Content and Logic key. First, remove the USB and power supply from the key. Use a flathead screwdriver or a different tool to pry open the bottom case, revealing the dip switches. Then, plug in the USB lead and the power supply. To detect the firmware version of the key, set the dip switches to off, on, 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 or down, up, 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 and press the start button, counting the LED flashes. This shows that this is a version 14 key, the latest version available. The main dip switch positions are up, down, up, down. This allows the controller to connect with the PC software. Once you've configured a controller and you want to then send the parameters from one controller to another controller. You need to set the dip switches to off, off, on, on, and plug into the controller. Press the start button. This will then pull the parameters across from the controller to the key. Once LED goes green, that will show the process is complete. And then to transfer all the parameters from the key to the controller, you need to set the dip switches to on, 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 on. Plug the key into the controller and press the start button. Once the LED goes green, the process is complete. Remove the controller. That controller is now programmed with the previous controller's settings.